Hello and welcome to another Windows 7 tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to view hidden files and folders within Windows 7. We'll also be hiding our own files to show you how you can actually save some files from prying eyes um, or anything that you might not want somebody else to view. Uh, this is a, a temporary security feature where basically you can actually hide it from viewing spaces and obviously um, if somebody doesn't know how to actually activate any hidden files or folders then they won't be able to access the file. So it's not kind of password protected files or encrypted files, those would be the best way to go, but it's a, like a, a simple temporary measure um, to just hide the file if you don't want it to be uh, visually seen. So in order to make a file actually hidden in the first place, uh, we've actually conducted a test folder here. So let's just say this is your file that you um, actually want to um, hide. So this is a folder with three files in it. So these are important files, documents, and I want to hide those. So the first thing we're going to do is just right click on that file or folder and just go to properties. So you want to navigate to the attributes and as you can see there is a hidden um, attributes checkbox here and once we hit the checkbox and click apply you'll uh, be brought to this window which will basically allow you to actually any sort of files within a folder or any subfolders will actually also be um, hidden which is obviously what we want. We want to hide the whole thing. So we're going to click OK and as you can see it kind of uh, fades out and then it just disappears. So now this file has actually become hidden. So now the question is how do we actually get that file back? So what we're going to do is there's actually two ways of showing hidden files and folders. One way would be is just to go to uh, either Internet Explorer or any type of uh, window within Windows. Um, and they all have generally have the same sort of bar at the top. And what we want to do is go to Organize and go to Folder and Search Options. Now this is also available through control panel, just quickly show you how to do that. If you go to control panel, and in Windows 7 uh, you normally get the uh, main title bars with the sub sort of titles underneath. Um, it's a bit more difficult to navigate so we're just going to put it back to uh, small or large icons and this gives you a, a drop down list of everything. And we're going to navigate to folder options. And as you can see it brings you to the same uh, options that we had before. Okay, so uh, the next thing is we obviously want to view the file or folder, so we're going to go to view. And we just, as you can see, there's a massive list of the different types of things that you can actually tweak uh, for just the files and folders in this situation. And as you can see, um, halfway down the uh, this page here, you've got hidden files and folders. Now it is currently set to do, don't show hide and fold, uh, hidden files and folders or drives. Uh, but what we will obviously want to do is show those hidden files or folders. So once you check that and click apply, you'll notice that uh, a sort of grayed out version of my icon for the test folder has actually appeared back again. So this basically uh, shows that this is actually a hidden file uh, because it's got this grayed out sort of effect. So any files that kind of seem a bit transparent uh, most likely are hidden files. So as, uh, now that it's appeared, I can actually double click on it and I can still view my files. This is also quite a useful feature if you are um, tweaking your windows or if you're a more advanced user and you have a need to navigate to any of the program apps data that you might have installed on your computer. Um, if we go to my computer, you'll actually notice that on the C drive where the programs are normally installed, uh, the program data file has actually appeared. This was actually previously a hidden file and folder. And from here you can access um, different program datas um, that you might need so if you are tweaking your system or changing files and folders. So now we're just going to show you how to uh, get rid of any uh, hidden files. So obviously we want to show hi hidden files and um, if we want to uncheck this hidden file uh, we just um, repeat the process that we did before and just uncheck it. So we go to properties and uncheck hidden, click apply and obviously you want to um, contain the whole folder uh, for this option and go to OK and now it will come back to its normal test folder um, view and it will actually be completely visible. So it's quite a useful feature. Um, generally it's best to turn off uh, hidden files and folders um, because uh, some of those uh, files and folders actually contain um, some important data that programs do need. So if it ever gets accidentally deleted um, then obviously you know it can cause problems for uh, programs working etc. So generally as a default it is always left off. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, thank you very much for viewing this tutorial. If you have any uh, comments or if you have any requests for any tutorials on any anything at all, please don't uh, fear to give us a comment below. And don't forget to check out our website at ectotech.co.uk forward slash blog. Thank you very much and until next time.
Goodbye.